Yeah, I told the team that uh, any time you can take five or six points in this league on a weekend, it's a successful weekend. Um, I don't think you can overthink it. And can we get better in certain areas? Of course, there's a lot of areas where we can get better in. But uh, you know, the thing that I was most proud of was they came back and, and tied the game late, and we scored a you know a shift later. Uh, and that's just the resiliency you need to play in this league. You can't worry about what's happened in the past. You got to worry about your next shift. And that was really impressive. And I was really happy for Justin Pearson because. He's been arguably one of our best forwards all year long, and for him to uh, get that game winner was certainly justified. And beyond that, the play he made five on six was even better. Uh, winning the battle on the neutral zone and getting it down into their end to kill a lot of the clock was, uh, those are the plays that you have to make to win games. So really pleased with the effort. Mike, you kill off the, the five-minute major, you score right away, and then they call a timeout. You really got after your guys. What was your message to them? Well, I just think that, you know, when a team calls a, like a premature timeout, I said you, you have to have that killer instinct that the next shift we're going to go take it to them and, and let them know that you're not going to change the momentum of this game. So that was kind of my message. Coach, how did it feel playing with the five defensemen for most of the, for the last two periods and like most the, the, like a small portion of the first period? Just how did that feel? And how did that adjust your game plan as a whole? You know, we really didn't we didn't readjust the game plan. Uh, it's just the defensemen are gonna get a little more ice. So the D love it. You know, they can get more uh, ice time. But we were fine. Uh, the five good ones. So when you have five good ones, uh, you can weather that. I don't want to do it all the time, but. Uh, you know, it was an unfortunate play. Uh, it was it was the right call, and um, I was I was happy the way we handled it. What do you think the penalty kill did well, though? How do you do? You have to, or maybe a better question is, do you have to approach a five minute penalty different than you approach a two minute penalty? No, you approach it the same way. You just it, we have a process and how we want to kill a penalty, and we just go about it. Whether it's five minute, two minute, a double minor, it doesn't really matter. We have to go about it the same way. Talk about Matthew Wood, just uh, for such a young guy, so strong. A couple times along the boards, they tried to take him down. They couldn't move him along the side. Yeah, he, he played pretty well. It was a big goal he scored for us, and that's what he can do. Um, you know, certainly room for improvement, you know. Um, but, you know, that line got two of our goals tonight, so that was, you know, a good line for us. Is he getting more confident being on the pocket? It seems like this weekend more than others, he's been – getting the puck and trying to do things with it and not really disappearing as much. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I think he's been pretty consistent, you know, from what I've watched. I think he's been pretty consistent and as I said, there's always room to grow, you know. Um, he's going to uh, part of the thing is when you come in at a young age, you're going to make mistakes. He doesn't have experience and you got to coach him through those mistakes and let him under, you know, play through those mistakes. And I think he's been able to do that. First thing your goaltender today? I thought he was outstanding. I thought that was probably his best game of the year. I thought he was um, really good. Controlled a lot of his rebounds. Uh, stopped initial shots. He fought through screens. Uh, because they're pretty good at like, Sirota is one of the best in the league at getting pucks down on the net. And we scored one last night. And uh, I thought Arsini did a great job uh, managing that part of his game. Three shots went up top. How'd you like how you guys shot the puck tonight, particularly uh, tucking it under the bar three times? Yeah, um, you know, I think it, the most important thing is just get pucks on net. And tonight they happened to go upstairs on them, but that wasn't a game plan. You know, we were just, we don't really try to, I think when you game plan for goalies, if we told them to shoot up high, you would have seen a lot more off the glass. So we just try to, uh, get pucks to the net and bodies and rebounds and chaos. When you create chaos, you can score a lot of goals. Well, how about the gritty nature of the effort both nights? I mean, you know, there are nights when you're flying up and down the ice, but you, know, you really had to earn those five points this uh, this weekend with kind of like a gritty style of play. Yeah, it was just, uh, you know, just saw Gino Mariamer outside. He came to the game tonight with his wife and he was just saying, what a great win. It's, it's so tough. Like, every win in this league's a tough one. And it is. Like, th there are no easy nights. Th there's no opponent. You know, are there games occasionally that are 6-2 or 5-1 or they get out of hand? 
occasionally, but for the most part, no matter who you play, it's going to be a one goal game. Uh, or, you know, you just look at the league, up and down the league, that's what it is. And uh, as I said in my opening statement, when you can grind and, and find a way to get five out of six points, it's a good weekend for your team. Can you say about Ryan's uh, season that he's having so far? Uh, you know, other players were more of a factor tonight, but he, I believe, was just named Hockey's Player of the Month. He had a great October. You know, I'm sure you could talk about him a lot, but what can you say about the season? Well, he's was, um, he just keeps getting better since he's been here. His speed is uh, a difference maker when he's out there playing, and uh, his tenacity on the puck, he shoots the puck really well. I thought he made some great plays tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, it was two to one and he made that play to Jake Percival and that was a fabulous play he made there. But he affects the game in so many different ways. Killing penalties, um, on the power play, five on five. Uh, I'm glad he's on our team.